to welcome all of you to the fourth annual e-navigation on the way Asia-Pacific 2020 conference. First, it is important to develop maritime digital technologies and services based on user needs. Second, I strongly believe that one of the most essential aspects is achieving global compatibility. Third, we need to demonstrate the effectiveness and the best practices of maritime digitalization to the world. This crisis has shown that electro and smart ship. I believe that the biggest challenge for us all is the international. This is the key to making shipping safer, including the better conventional infection. I'm hoping your conversations and your discussions over the next few days will actually We heard it already in the in the magnificent uh, congratulatory speeches that looking at digitalization, we all know that there is a huge potential of Shapers and influences which are going evolving faster than the maritime industry and competent authorities can avail. Uh, additionally, the cost of maintaining communications services. We have to bread, we have to provide some kind of clean interface. Scalability of connectivity and of change. The, uh, what, we, what was the, the idea until uh, a couple of years ago? We had innovation services that provide ship services. So, what is it actually that uh, Namlink do provide? We provide. Uh, what do we provide for the maritime community? The solution is illustrated on the slide right now. So it's, this is definitely an exciting time in the maritime industry. We change scope and in the future they will cover a broader digital agenda. To propose or test upon, to adopt or highlight, thank you, Julia. Yeah, very good. Very good.